مجمع الأندلس التعليمي تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Dear students of grade 10 Another meeting with Mr. Ayman and a new unit Unit 9 Preferences Students book page 111 in this module, you will learn to talk about your shopping habits, to express preferences, to change the meaning of a sentence through word stress, to understand online advertisement and product reviews, to form opposites of words, to talk about books, and to write about a book review. Remember that you have to show your love to your country and your belonging to your nation and to your religion through many ways, including by obeying to such a verse. فَاسْأَلُوا أَهْلَ الذِّكْرِ إِنْ كُنْتُمْ لَا تَعْلَمُونَ You should know whom to ask to be able to choose the right decision. And now to the objectives of today's lesson, reading lesson, page 112 and 113. Still your student's book. So uh, let's start by learning some words that can help you during the unit. We need a word that means a natural or intuitive way of acting or thinking. Here we are talking about instinct which is the Arabic equivalent of al -gharizah. we want a word to mean an effect a feeling an image relating as a consequence of experience here we are talking about impression in Tibet there are many words that can replace in happiness and distress like misery البؤس أو الشقاء. This picture can represent or can be replaced by the word major, ts, and countless is another way to say that something is uncountable or that there are too many things to be counted, very much or very many. Now, think of an answer to the following question. What was the last major or important decision you had to make or you made? Think of it and I will be glad to have your answers. And now let's try to start with our reading text and with task B. I want to you read the text and find out the purpose of the text. Of course, you should start by reading carefully the options, the choices. A. To inform people about what affects decision making. B. To warn people of the dangers of risky decision making. C. To analyze the pros and cons of rational decision making. And the last option is to advise people on how to make more rational decisions. Open your book and start reading the text while it is played. Try to remember, we want to decide about the purpose of the text. Preferences. 9A. Reading. Decisions, decisions. We like to believe that before we make a decision, most of the time, we take all the facts into consideration and take our time to think about all the options carefully. However, this just isn't the case. In fact, experts believe that only 5% of our decisions are based on a rational thought process. So, what factors influence our decision-making process? 
We often leave decision making to our instincts. Scientists have proved that if we had the choice, we'd prefer to avoid pain or misery rather than gain something. In fact, we're twice as happy when we try to avoid a bad situation than when we experience a good one. This is why when companies send spam email, they use phrases like how to avoid, don't miss out, what never to eat when, etc. because people are more likely to open them. There are also physical factors that affect our decision making. An experiment where people were asked to give their impression of a fictional person while holding a cold or a hot cup of coffee was conducted by an expert. Those holding the hot cup believed the person to be warmer and more sociable than those holding the cold cup. So, when temperatures rise, the more likely we are to trust strangers. Stress is another factor which affects our decisions, but we can't measure this very easily, especially as different situations are more or less stressful for different people. Researchers have found, though, that women tend to be more conservative about decisions when stressed, whereas men tend to make riskier choices. It may come as a surprise, but every day from the minute we get up, we have to make countless decisions like what to wear, what coffee to have, which lift to take and so on. Each choice, no matter how unimportant, makes our brain a little bit more tired. And without realizing it, this affects our decision making. This means we are much more likely to make decisions that we regret at the end of the day. That's why you often see important people like presidents wearing the same three suits all the time. This is because they want to limit the small choices and spend more brain power on the bigger ones. When it comes to decision making, most people would rather have a wide range of options to choose from. Again, however, research indicates that this does not necessarily lead to wiser decisions. In an experiment, one group of people had to pick from a selection of 30 bars of chocolate and another group from a selection of six. Initially, those who chose from the larger selection liked the idea of having variety, but ended up being unhappy with their choice and regretted it more than those who chose from six. Living in the modern world, we are bombarded with options and choices that we think will make us happier. The question is, do they? It's a wise question. Do they? Now, back to our initial question. What is the purpose of the text? Yes, it's to inform people about what may affect our decisions and what may influence decision making. Great. To task C and here we need specific information. We want to find exact answers about specific questions. You will have such questions in your exam and you have to read carefully each question with the different choices or options which are given from A to C. So just pause the video, carefully read the questions. After that, I will give you the time to reread the text and now to scan the text and to find out the answers. Have your time. We like to believe that before we make a decision most of the time, we take all the facts into consideration and take our time to think about all the options carefully. However, this just isn't the case. In fact, experts believe that only 5% of our decisions are based on a rational thought process. So, what factors influence our decision-making process? We often leave decision-making to our instincts. Scientists have proved that if we had the choice, we'd prefer to avoid pain or misery rather than gain something. In fact, we're twice as happy when we try to avoid a bad situation than when we experience a good one. This is why when companies send spam email, they use phrases like how to avoid, don't miss out, what never to eat when, etc. because people are more likely to open them. 
there are also physical factors that affect our decision making. An experiment where people were asked to give their impression of a fictional person while holding a cold or a hot cup of coffee was conducted by an expert. Those holding the hot cup believed the person to be warmer and more sociable than those holding the cold cup. So, when temperatures rise, the more likely we are to trust strangers. Stress is another factor which affects our decisions, but we can't measure this very easily, especially as different situations are more or less stressful for different people. Researchers have found, though, that women tend to be more conservative about decisions when stressed, whereas men tend to make riskier choices. It may come as a surprise, but every day from the minute we get up, we have to make countless decisions, like what to wear, what coffee to have, which lift to take and so on. Each choice, no matter how unimportant, makes our brain a little bit more tired. And without realizing it, this affects our decision making. This means we are much more likely to make decisions that we regret at the end of the day. That's why you often see important people like presidents wearing the same three suits all the time. This is because they want to limit the small choices and spend more brain power on the bigger ones. When it comes to decision making, most people would rather have a wide range of options to choose from. Again, however, Research indicates that this does not necessarily lead to wiser decisions. In an experiment, one group of people had to pick from a selection of 30 bars of chocolate and another group from a selection of six. Initially, those who chose from the larger selection liked the idea of having variety, but ended up being unhappy with their choice and regretted it more than those who chose from six. Living in the modern world, we are bombarded with options and choices that we think will make us happier. The question is, do they? So, as you have read the text, let's try to answer the questions. One, what is true about our decision making? We are slow to make decisions. B, we have lots of options to choose from. We seldom follow a rational thought process and the, we think of all the facts carefully before we make a decision. We want to know what is true. Yes? True. We seldom follow a rational thought process. Second question. The phrases used in spammy mails take into consideration people's needs to open those emails, to have more good experiences than bad ones, to protect themselves from negative experiences, or to gain something from any situation they find themselves in. Yes, true, is to protect them from negative experiences and negative Im impressions. The third question, what is true about stress? It's not easy to measure its effect. For sure, your answer is correct. The next question, what is true about having to make small decisions? We make them early in the morning or we regret them at the end of the day. Or they may affect our decision making negatively or people with many responsibilities do not try to avoid them. Yes, Ravi? Exactly. They can affect our decision making in a negative way. And the last question. Last question. Having many options to choose from is not what makes us stressed or is not what most people want or it's not common in today's world or it's not always helpful in making good choices. Yes, it's the last option. Good. So, we finish it with task C. And now I think we have to deal with D. Here you are asked to find words in the text that mean the same as the following phrases, which are great suffering or unhappiness, two, 
not real. Three, to be likely to do something. It's in paragraph four. Not liking changes or new ideas. Also, it's in paragraph four. The fifth expression is very many. It's in paragraph five. Six, we need an equivalent. Four, to choose something, and it's found in paragraph six. And this paragraph also contains an equivalent to at the beginning. Pause the video, go straight to the paragraphs, and try to find the equivalents. You're back. Hope you found the answers. So... One, we need an equivalent for great suffering or unhappiness. Yes, it's pain or misery, great. Misery is the same as the French word for the same meaning, misère. And miserable are those who are unhappy and are suffering a lot. An equivalent for not real in paragraph three, it's fictional, great. An equivalent of the phrase to be likely to do something, it's tend. And not liking changes or new ideas is a conservative person, for example. Very many, countless or uncountable, to choose something, to pick, and at the beginning is an equivalent of initially. Now, let's deal with task A. Here you are asked to answer the following questions and underline the parts of the text where you found the answers. You must think a little of it. At which time of the year we are we more likely to make friends and why? And the second question is, what is the best time of the day to make important decisions? Again, and why? Pause the video, go back to the text, and come back with possible or acceptable answers. You're back. Let's start with the first one. It's during the summer that we are more likely to make friends because the temperatures rise and we are more open and tend to trust strangers more easily. And here is the evidence. So, when temperatures rise, the more likely we are to trust strangers. Great. The second question. The best time of the day to make important decisions is the morning because our mind is not yet tired from all the decisions we make during the day. And here is the proofs from the text. Each choice, no matter how we and important makes our brain a little bit more tired and without realizing it this affects our decision making this means we are much more likely to make decisions that we regret at the end of the day let's finish with this text and with the last question what do you think about the information presented in the text and do you think you will change the way you make decisions from now on why or why not. Just think of it. And when you come back, your answer should be like this one. I find it very interesting. In fact, it has made me more aware of the decision making process. And I think I will be more careful of how I make my decisions from now on as I know some of the processes involved in decision making. Here we are at the end of the lesson. Be ready for the exams. Think of it from now on and take the right decisions. Now, I have to say, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Mujamma al Andalus Talimi. تعلم عصري ملهم بهوية وطنية وقيم إسلامية